Do you like me? Just like me. Like Me TV Fresno on Facebook. Get the latest news, interact with others, watch videos, become a fan of me. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Want more of me? Me? Go to MeTVFresno.com for schedules, information on your favorite shows, videos, pictures, and more. Go to MeTVFresno.com today. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Hello, I'm John Malice, and welcome to Connect With Me, a very special show today. Our guest is going to be Chris Pacheco. He's the owner of ESPN Radio, 1430 on your radio dial. We'll talk to Chris about a numerous things like, hey, the new football coach at Fresno State, Tim DeRuiter. We'll talk about maybe the Giants and the A's and his radio station. He also played nose guard for the Fresno State Bulldogs way back when, back in just a moment. <laughs> And welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Malice. You're watching us on Comcast Cable, channel 187 and 43.6. If you have an antenna on top of your roof or your garage or who knows, maybe you have a shed or like my daughter and my son say, maybe you have an antenna on top of your head. You're walking around. We don't know. However, you're watching us, maybe on the Internet. That too. Anyway, a special guest today here on Connect With Me. He is Chris Pacheco, the one and only. Of course, many of you know him playing football with Fresno State. But did you know he also played in the National Football League for about 11 weeks? We're going to talk to him about his career at Fresno State, his short career in the National Football League. Hey, at least he had a career in the National Football League. I didn't even have a career playing peewee football. So we're going to talk to Chris about that. He also worked at KMJ. He's now the owner of ESPN Radio. Maybe you listen to ESPN Radio locally here, 1430 on your radio dial. Also, we'll talk about the Giants and the A's. And you know what? There's Chris in his office right now. He played nose guard for the Fresno State Bulldogs back in 84 and 85. You might recall he played for Jim Sweeney, and that's at his ESPN office right there in Fresno. And he also had a cup of coffee in the NFL, as we uh, mentioned. He was an account executive at KMJ for a while. And then back in 2005, he bought his own radio station. And right now he owns ESPN, ESPN2, The Deuce, his magazine. We'll ask him about what that's all about. Quick signs, mega uh, prints, and A-plus signs, all Chris Pacheco, all day here on Connect With Me. We're back in a moment with our interview with Chris Pacheco in just a moment. Stay tuned. Vanting stainless steel appliances? We make stainless painless. Right now, stainless is a steal at Ventura TV Video Appliance. Why not upgrade every appliance in the kitchen? Got it? Like Frigidaire's 30-inch stainless steel electric cooktop, now just $3.49. And Frigidaire's 18 cubic foot refrigerator with glass shelves is only $5.99. Upgrade to stainless steel at Ventura TV Video Appliance today and save. This guy is great. Welcome back. I'm John Mallows. I hope you had a great weekend watching sports on television, listening to sports on the radio. I like to listen to baseball on the radio myself, and I do listen to 1430 on Thanks, your radio John. dial. Chris uh, Pacheco is our guest. Chris, welcome to Connect With Me. Thank you. My pleasure to be here, John. Hey, I appreciate it. So, yeah. the Giants won over the weekend, two out of three. Yes, they did. So, the Giants are, <laughs> well, what, I think six games back behind the Dodgers, and uh, hopefully they'll be catching them real soon. All right, do you want me to do a little radio rant for you? <laughs> sure. I don't understand what's going on with that pitching staff. <laughs> Unbelievable. How, how come two years ago they had the best pitching staff in baseball, and all of a sudden these big contracts are signed, $19 million, $125 million for, for Matt Cain, yeah. and all of a sudden these guys can't pitch? Well, I am I have a problem with Zito getting $20 million a year or whatever he's getting because yeah. we haven't seen him perform he like he should have. he hasn't in five years. But I, I think well. they'll be fine. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, uh, Linsa comes off to a slow start, but, you know, two-time two Cy Young Award winner, so you can expect him to 
hone it in and I'm sure by the end of the year he'll have another 15 to 20 wins under his belt so I think the Giants are going to be fine they're they're being overused <laughs> they're overthrowing remember the Oakland A's back in the 1980 when Billy Martin was was the manager oh, yeah and they had uh, Mike Norris led that five-man rotation pitching staff they were on the front cover of Sports Illustrated within two years they were all gone, all gone. <laughs> too much money <laughs> too much money too much overuse yeah. but anyway I want to talk about your radio station because um, uh, tell us how that all came about in 2005. How did you purchase all of these? I mean, look at the list here. Well, obviously, you got, you've got two radio stations, <laughs> his magazine, you got the sign companies. It's it's a it's a unique story, you know. Uh, came to Fresno State to play for the old Irishman and got into the radio <laughs> business uh, right after right after college. And it's ironic because uh, you'll see that. Uh, the whole reason why I connected with KMJ is they were looking to do a promotion with a, a, a bulldog puppy and uh, give that puppy away on the air. And I was looking for a bulldog, and ironically, that's how I connected with KMJ. But you know, I've had a terrific radio career here in Fresno and had lots of chances to run radio stations for people. And the time timing was right. I'm a sports junkie. I played sports all my life. And so the opportunity to buy a sports station came available. And... Decided to give up the big corporate job and cash in the 401k <laughs> and throw it all on on, uh, on owning my own station. So the bank owns everything, John. They're just letting me play with it right Which now. Which bank so. is that? Can we say? <laughs> yeah, let's not. Chase, Citibank? <laughs> Citibank. <laughs> hey, let's take you back 27 years. Let's take a quick look at the monitor here. We'll take you back to a time that, uh, well, we all wish we could go back 27 years, right? <laughs> yeah. Here you are with Jim Sweeney and the Bulldog. Yep. Yep, that's Cowbull. That was the uh, f second mascot at Fresno State. And uh, that's really how I met the people at KMJ. I was on assignment to go try and find a, a bulldog for this promotion. And uh, once we found him, I uh, was bouncing off the back seat and, and John Broski and, uh, and <laughs> decided, boy, I had hair then. Uh, but uh, they decided to give me a shot in sales. And so uh, shortly right after... Uh, my cup of coffee with the Rams. I started as an account executive at KMJ and, and worked my way up. All right, there's a shot of you and Jim Sweeney, of course. And there you are, number 97, uh, your short stint in the NFL back in 1987 with the Rams. Yep, this is when midgets could still play on the D line 27 years ago. Uh, you know, you were. And that's you too. <laughs> Yep, it was, uh, it was a, like you said, a cup of coffee. I was very, very fortunate to get the opportunity. Uh, made a little bit of money, and obviously my wife and I, Stacy, uh, were able to buy our first house with that. And it was just, just a terrific experience to, uh, to get to play in the NFL for, for a little while. Yeah, that was the strike year, right? Yes, I, I'm an official scab. You can call me that, John. <laughs> it's okay. But I, I almost made the team. We'll turn in, you around here just a little I, bit better. There I you go. I almost made the team in 1986, and uh, they called back most of those players in the strike-shortened season of 87. But, you know, in life, uh, luck does find its way sometimes. And uh, there hasn't been another strike since 1987, John. So right. when you look back on that, you know, timing in life is everything. And I was just fortunate to be at the right place at the right time. Right. A great experience for you now. You played, as I said, with the Bulldogs. Then you went to the account executive mm -hmm. uh, at KMJ. How long were you at that job? Well, uh, obviously, three and a half, four years before I moved into management at okay. KMJ and then stayed in management for another three or four years and then left to go run KRZR in an old station called Mix 102.7 in 94 as a general manager. Right. Then came back in 98 uh, when consolidation took place and was... Uh, reunited with Al Smith, my old uh, mentor, and yep. we ran uh, the, the CBS cluster here very successfully right. for over 10 years. Right. Al Smith has been on this program. John Brodsky, we're trying to get uh, any tidbits that you can tell us about those two guys? <laughs> well, they're, they're, any secrets? They're both new, they're both news junkies, that's for sure. And I was always saying we need to do more sports, and they were always saying, well, we need to do more news. So, uh, but both terrific mentors of mine, and and obviously Broski, just a phenomenal programmer. And Al's been was in the radio business for 40 years. Al gave me my first uh, management job, so I'm forever indebted to him for that. He reminds me of that every time I see him. And, of course, every time you listen to my station, you'll hear a, a chamber spot for one of the events they've got right. going on. Right. Uh, so. If somebody were to write 
the story of your life, a biography, how would you describe yourself hmm. as a player and now as a person? Well, uh, tenacious, um, discipline. I would say that, uh, you know, when you have an I shall not be denied attitude towards things and and they're willing to work the extra mile, then good things happen. So, you know, I'm proof that in this country, given an opportunity, you can be very successful. And more importantly, get educated. You know, a lot of people think that jocks don't go to class in college, but uh, some of us do. You actually did. Yeah, I actually did get my degree in business administration. Uh, and uh, so I'm very proud of that. I want my kids to get college degrees, obviously, like most parents. but one of the first in my generation in my family to get a college degree and so I'm a big believer that if you keep kids in sport and you keep them in school that good things happen. Do you have the same tenacious attitude in broadcasting as you did as a football player? You have to. If you don't you'll get run over and uh, <laughs> it, you know as well as I do that uh, broadcasting is a very very competitive business and uh, when you are really selling air, uh, air time, uh, it's, it's even more competitive. You know, people want to advertise, but they don't need to advertise. Uh, I think they need to advertise, and most people in broadcasting do, but a lot of businesses, you know, struggle to find that budget to Is advertise. Is it being aggressive? Well, I don't know if it's being aggressive as much it is, as it is uh, really being stick to -itive. If you really- What's the difference, do you think, though? Well, just the, the, the difference in, in continuing to stay the course, you know, with consolidation of our industry, as you well know. Right. Uh, you know, the almighty profit has become what, in my opinion, is a bigger objective than what's important. Well, the almighty profit has shrunk. Absolutely. In recent years, since Absolutely. 2008, the recession. Well, this recession has cut radio advertising by 40%. Uh, from where it was in 2008 and so if you're gonna survive you better bring it every day and and so I think that uh, those those broadcasters that are out there serving the community you know our, our high school student athlete program that we do for high school students is awesome our high school Friday night football program that we do for high school we just covered the the basketball championships at Selen Arena and broadcast all of those games so you know, I think if you stay local, then good things happen. All right. We're talking with Chris Pacheco here on Connect With Me. I'm John Mallis, your host. We're going to continue our conversation after a brief timeout. Stay tuned. Vaunting stainless steel appliances? V makes stainless painless. Right now, stainless is a steel at Ventura TV video appliance. Why not upgrade every appliance in the kitchen? Got it? Like Frigidaire's 30-inch sealed burner gas cooktop, now just $4.49. And Whirlpool side-by-side -side with dispensers, crushed ice, and water filtration is only $9.99. Upgrade to stainless steel at Ventura TV Video Appliance today and save. This guy is great. On the air, off the presses this Monday. We're here with Chris Pacheco. We're actually on the air, not off the presses. But uh, anyway, glad to have you along. Hey, I want to take you back in time again <laughs> on this show. Take a look at this photo of you and your better half, I guess, right? Yep, that's my wife of 22 years. Met her at, in college. And we have three beautiful children. Jocelyn's 18, Nico 17, and Mindy is 10. Nico. Yes. That's a good Greek name. That's a good Greek name. Now you're half Greek, right? That's correct. My mother was born and raised in Kalamata, Greece. Turn you around. She moved here in uh, when she was 19 years of age, and um, and so uh, yeah, my father was Italian, Portuguese, and Mexican, and so I'm <laughs> I'm a combination. I tell people I'm a greasy Mexican. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> you got you got three great kids. Now. I do. I do. One's at yeah. Cal Poly and. Nico's playing football and baseball at Bullard High School and having a great career so far. And little Mindy's doing great in the fourth grade at 10 years old. Wow, she's in the fourth grade. Yes. All right. Yes. I have a daughter that's in the third grade, so I know it's uh, it's, it's a, a handful, isn't it? It's, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get into your radio station now. 
what kind of programming do you have? Well, we do a mixture of national programming with Mike and Mike and Colin Cowherd. Uh, you know, those are two of the biggest network programming names that you'll find. Uh, then we have Doug Gottlip on as well. Uh, but we do produce roughly about 20 hours a week to 25 hours a week of live local shows with the Wait, Guy uh, Haber the Guy Haberman show okay. is on from 3 to 6 every day. And then Nick pa Papagni and Matt Johnson, uh, they, uh, they host the ESPN Rise show that's uh, on Thursday afternoons. And then Friday we come in with the Central Valley uh, Sport Zone. Uh, that's over at Fashion Furniture, uh, and we've done that now for the six years I've owned the station. And that show really is for every local sports en entity, whether it's high school, junior college, you know, the Grizzlies, uh, hockey, whatever type of sports programming that is local, we allow those people to come on and talk about what they're doing in the local community. His magazine is about what? His magazine is a complement to our two male targeted radio stations. It's a lifestyle magazine. It really is a different audience. It's more of an eclectic male target. You know, you I'm have stories. I, you have articles. Oh yeah, okay. Great stories about people in town. Uh, you know, lifestyle articles. We we've had stories on Pat Hill. We've got a story coming up on the new coach Tim. To Reuter, uh, but really is a compliment to the two male targeted radio stations. Right. So you've also got the sign business. You've got quick signs, mega prints, eight. Plus yeah, Stacy. How much of that is part of your business, and how much is the media? Well, it's it's kind of interesting because signage is a form of advertising. And is so, that about 75% of your business? Yeah, the sign companies make okay. up about 75% of our, our business interest, and the radio stations and the magazine are about 25% of our... I tell people that uh, we make our money in the sign business, but my passion and, and uh, love is, is in the media with the radio stations and, and the, the magazine. And the sign business is what? Like you put uh, the, the uh, sign... You, you name you it. You put the pictures on Kopi's car, did Correct, you not? correct. Vehicle wraps, bus wraps, wall murals, small real estate real signs, boards. all the way on up to 100 foot freeway pylon signs you'll see a okay. new a brand new sign at Selma Auto Mall we just put in last week so uh, we run the gamut from A to Z in all types of signage so that's what drives the radio station well that's what allowed me to quit the big corporate job uh, put together enough money to, <laughs> to buy uh, ESPN uh, my partner Jim Hills camp and I college college uh, roommate uh, really uh, helped me put this together so we could buy these stations. I know you were close to Pat Hill. Very Give me close. the lowdown. Well, what's what's some, your take on his well, being fired? You know, I, I obviously am too passionate to really comment. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you, you know, think he just wore out his welcome. Well, I think anytime you coach for 15 years anywhere, yeah. you're going to have a lot of people that love you and a lot of people that hate you just because of the tenure. Um, my challenge was that when I played, Pat was actually the offensive line coach while I played defensive line. Yeah. So our personal relationship, we're great friends. Uh, right. Just talked to him last week. He's having a blast in Atlanta. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought maybe, uh, you know, he it could have been handled a little bit differently. But, you know, at the end of the day, 15 years is, is two football careers for, for most college coaches. And Pat really did take us to the next level. Uh, Jim Sweeney built that stadium. You know, Pat took us to a level of playing big-time D1 schools. Right. And now it's Tim DeRuder's chance to uh, to take us to the even farther level. Let me take the devil's advocate at seeing it from an outsider too conservative on offense, and when he was criticized, even by the alumni, he became defensive. Is well, that accurate? Well, I think so. I think that's probably fair, but what people don't know about Coach Hill is that, you know, his best quality is that stubbornness. It's that stubbornness that keeps those kids disciplined. You never saw any of Pat's kids get into trouble. That's because he was very, very rigid in that there were no second chances. If you screwed up, then, then you, you were off the team or you didn't play. And, and the and academic side, you can't argue with that. He got those grades up. Absolutely, absolutely. And so, you know, the hard thing is, is I used to debate this with Pat, and he said, Chris, <laughs> you know, you can take a knife to somebody's juggler and slice their juggler and they're dead right away, or you can squeeze the life out of them very slowly. And so the reason why I like to run the ball is because I like to squeeze the life out of them very slowly. Well, so, that's his philosophy. And that was his philosophy. And it worked for it him. It served us well for a long, long time. 
It certainly did. Uh, Chris, we have to take a, I almost called you Pat Hill. <laughs> Chris, we have to take a time out. That would be a call. Uh, yes, <laughs> all right, all right. We've got to talk about the special of the day here at Ventura TV. We're back with more of our conversation with Chris Pacheco on Connect With Me on 187 and 43.6 after a brief time out. Vaunting stainless steel appliances? V makes stainless painless. Right now, stainless is a steal at Ventura TV Video Appliance. Why not upgrade every appliance in the kitchen? Got it? Like Maytag's over-the-range hood microwave combo, now just $249. And Maytag's 25-foot French door dispenser refrigerator is only $14.99. Upgrade to stainless steel at Ventura TV Video Appliance today and save. This guy is great. I love playing cowboy. Come on, let's go. I'm an old cow hand. I'm an old man. And the legs ain't bald. If you're looking for a fight, you're going to find it. And hey, you reckon this thing is loaded? Vaunting stainless steel appliances? V makes stainless painless. Right now, stainless is a steal at Ventura TV Video Appliance. Why not upgrade every appliance in the kitchen? Got it? Like Frigidaire's ultra quiet stainless steel dishwasher, now just $279. And Frigidaire's self clean smooth top range with even bake technology is only $649. Upgrade to stainless steel at Ventura TV Video Appliance today and save. A bottle Wayne chiller holder. All right. What about the tempered glass on front here? That's the first thing you notice about this uh, chiller here. Uh, that's very important because a lot of people uh, might set this up outside. So when you have that tempered glass, it keeps that nice cool air in, so you're not burning all that PG&E. You know, constantly keeping your bottles cold. All right. And a reversible door. So how how does that work? There you go. Uh, that's very important. In fact, this a uh, couple weekends ago, I went to a place where a bunch of people were there, and the guy did not have a reversible door. And the way it was set up, the kids kept on getting their hands caught in there. So this is a great unit. You're able to switch the hinge over to the other side so that allows you to open it from the left or the right. All right. Auto cycle defrost. Now, what is exactly does that mean? What the kind of a feature is that here on this one? That's important because this way you're not having to defrost anything to, uh, you know, get a pan out, get the water out. You don't get the buildup in there and it doesn't get on your wine bottle. So that's a good feature to have when you have the auto defrost. So it allows you just to simply load it and you never have to worry about doing the cleaning unless something spills. All right. The first thing I noticed on this was the tempered glass. The second thing I noticed was the interior lighting just right off the bat. It's a nice feature to have if you have it in a dark area you're able to see your bottles in there and you know it just gives that effect in the home it gives it that nice look yeah okay what are we talking about in terms of price now this unit uh, similar models are out there at uh, 269 our everyday low price is 199 but right now for our viewers out there we're going to do this at 169 which is a really awesome buy oh, wow 169 dollars for this wine chiller good for the connect with me viewers through tomorrow at noon right here at ventura tv on the showroom floor and hector i got to ask you each and every day we get bargains here. The, the special of the day is right here. But how, how does Ventura TV do it day in and day out? It has a lot to do with our buying power. Uh, with our nationwide group, they uh, purchase and uh, make good purchases. So it, it allows us to get a better buy out there to the customer. You know, cost of living nowadays is kind of tough. And there is a lot of people who are actually calling in looking for wine chillers. So we try to find something that's going to be right at that price range for them. All right, Hector Coronado, thank you very much. The Wine Chiller, $169. Good through tomorrow at noon right here at Ventura TV, especially for you, the Connect With Me viewers. And you're probably asking right now, how do I get to Ventura TV? Very simple. Let's put that map up. There it is right there, close to Selland Arena, close to the fairgrounds. Those are two key uh, places that you can mark on your map. And we are right off the 41, right off the 180-168, and the 99, just five minutes away from Highway 99. Back with more of our conversation with Chris Pacheco of ESPN. You're watching Connect With Me. Vaunting stainless steel appliances? V makes stainless painless. Right now, stainless is a steal at Ventura TV Video Appliance. Why not upgrade every appliance in the kitchen? Got it? Like Frigidaire's 30-inch stainless steel electric cooktop, now just $349. And Frigidaire's 18-cubic-foot refrigerator with glass shelves is only $599. Upgrade to stainless steel at Ventura TV Video Appliance today and save. 
This guy is great. I'm Lou Grant. Mary asked me to do a promo for Me TV. You want to see me, Lou? Not now, Ted. Watch me on Danish Donuts. I said not now, Ted. Watch me on Me, Me TV. You don't like me? I'll fire you. Watch Mary Tyler Moore. I'll fire you. Me TV Fresno now on Comcast Channel 187. Yeah. Back here on Connect With Me on our conversation with Chris Pacheco of ESPN. Chris, we talked about Pat Hill. All right, the new guy on the block. He's in town, Tim DeRuiter. Your thoughts about him? Well, I've had a few times where I've gotten a chance to talk with Tim, and, and boy, he certainly has a lot of enthusiasm, that's for sure. And, yeah. and I think the, the good thing is is that when you get that first head coaching job, there's, there's so much excitement and enthusiasm. that, uh, And I really think that, that a change in, in our offensive philosophy and defensive philosophy will, will bring a lot of attention to the program. I'm certainly excited that, that uh, we'll continue to have our big ESPN Game Day Live tailgate for every game and and I'm, I'm anxious to see how Tim does I think he's going to do real well uh, because we have some skilled position players that were here from Pat's time that that are really terrific uh, I think the big question marks will be how do the interior lines do with the new type of schemes that he'll be running great guy though uh, the one thing I liked about Pat Hill he stood strong in his conviction he was not um, he was not weakened by what the alumni thought, mm -hmm. what the media thought, mm -hmm. what the fans thought. Yeah, unwavering. T unwavering. Tim DeRuiter does not strike me as that kind of guy. Do you think he'll he'll wilt at the first sign of criticism no, by the alumni or the no, pressure? He's been coaching long enough, and, and right. certainly uh, even if you're not the head coach, there's some of that stuff in, in the other markets that he's been in. But, you know, his experience at Air Force, his experience at, at Texas A&M, you know, I think he's, he's, he's ready for this opportunity. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what, what does happen on the field. I certainly thought the spring game was pretty good. You know, there was a lot of confusion out there, but that's right. expected with the new schemes. But it'll be a wait and see. But I think we'll get a good turnout and people will come out and see hey, how are these new Bulldogs going to be. I have two words for you. Derek Carr. Two words. <laughs> yes, all right. Yes. Derek Carr. He yes. could be better than David, his brother. He could be. He has the potential to be. That's for sure. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you, do you think it'll be more of a wide open offense? Absolutely. The spread offense is a more wide open offense, and that's, I think, going to be a good thing on one side and a bad thing on another. The spread offense uh, doesn't take too much time, so our defense is going to be really challenged to, uh, to stop people. And when the offense scores so fast, then the defense doesn't get as much rest. So, uh, But, you know, it's an exciting brand of football when you spread open the field like that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. That's a good point about the defense, because if you're not getting enough rest, <laughs> you could be pushed around. Yes. We, we had that when Kevin Sweeney broke the NC2A all-time passing record yeah. <laughs> uh, when I played. And I used to, to yell at Coach Sweeney, give us more time, give us more time. But, you know, Kevin was scoring, I think it was 42 touchdowns in a season he yeah. had at one time. Yeah. And, and it just he was um, terrific. Ama amazing, uh, amazing qu uh, quick score offense. And so so that makes it challenging when you're a nose guard. Would you come back to our show? We're out of time. I'd love already. to. I'd love to. Thank you <laughs> right. for having me, John. Hey, thank really you. Really appreciate Chris, it very much. Chris Pacheco of ESPN, and you're watching Connect with me tomorrow, the Salvation Army. And on Wednesday, we've got Tim DeRuiter himself sitting right here in this seat, the very same seat that uh, Chris Pacheco is sitting in now. Glad to have Chris along today. You're watching Connect with me on 187 and 43.6. I hope you have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And don't forget, Tim DeRuiter is here on Wednesday. Taking care of laundry, taking too much of your time. Have you become a missing mom? With a new fast,
efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. Save now on Frigidaire's Advanced Affinity Laundry Pair. Let Frigidaire save you energy, water, and time. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save.